This hunt would have been virtually impossible without a boat, and Randy's brand new state-of-the-art airboat made it even more enjoyable. But for Alaskans in general, a boat isn't a luxury item. It's a major factor in their transportation and subsistence lifestyle. Napa Auto Parts is proud to present Napa's Inside Alaska. Alaska is home to over 68,000 registered boats. By comparison, Florida has the most registered boats in the country, over 900,000. But for Florida, that averages out to one boat for every 21 people. Alaska has one boat for every 10 people, one of the highest averages in the country, and there's a big reason for that. In Alaska, our road system is so small compared to the river system. So really, most Alaskans that hunt and fish in Alaska, we look at rivers as our highway system. Alaska has a little over 16,000 miles of road system, and over half of that is small, local, country roads but Alaska's 12,000 rivers reach much further. The Yukon River alone stretches almost 2,000 miles. But more than just transportation, Alaska's rivers have been vital hunting grounds for thousands of years, and boats have been hunting tools. The native people, you know, they, they've hunted out of boats forever. You know, if you're really trying to harvest a big number of caribou, like the native people need to do, you know, they're not super picky on what they take. And so the ability to drive up and, you know, take a big number quickly, that's the way that the, the native people have done it. So fishing game just, they allow us to actually hunt out of the boat. The question has come up before from our viewers, is it in fact legal or even ethical to shoot from a boat in Alaska? Now the answer is, it depends on the hunting area and the specific situation. Regulations differ according to hunting unit. However, it's impossible to set down rules on the ethics of good sportsmanship and fair chase in every conceivable hunting situation. So a responsible hunter will decide on what he knows is best in each circumstance. Most people that would probably complain have no idea. You know, in the States, you fall in the river. Here, it's a life-threatening situation, you know. And so for Alaskans up here, the ability to not be able to shoot from a boat or in a boat is just sometimes it's too tough. And in this particular area, you can actually hunt out of the boat with the boat running. You know, I don't do that, obviously. But we're sport hunting and, you know, the clients do want the meat, but we also want a nice antler. So we will shut the boat off and uh, pull up on the gravel bar. It just gives a client a steady shot. At the basis of every successful hunt is balancing safety, and opportunity. And in the vast roadless wilds of Alaska, hunting from a boat can provide both.